Okay, so here you're going to be seeing me changing the domain, which basically is your URL, like www.something. Because when you create a Shopify website, it's going to automatically come as is with whatever name you sign up with. So if you want to customize it, this is how you would do it. So the first part that you saw me at was the home page. Sometimes you can find it on your home page. If not, there's a search engine or a search bar, and all you would do was type in domain and it'll come up. So first, since it was on my home page, you saw me click on it, and then you saw that little green button to the right, the right on that next page. You'll click that, and then just type in whatever you want your domain to be. For me, I am www.chiclashesla.com because that's what was available. I did want www.chiclashes.com, but they didn't have that avail available. So as you play with it, you can decide whatever you want, and it will tell you if it's available or if it's not. As you see, it's loading here to let me know if that's available. And then once it's available for whichever one you choose, it'll tell you how much it costs a year. So for me to have chiclashesla.com as my website, it's going to cost me 14 US dollars per, per year. So of course, this depends on where you're at and all of that. So um, yeah, that's how you change your domain. Now, this is optional you don't have to but it does seem a little bit more professional and it is pretty cool to have you know your actual website like that so once you're ready um and you choose it you would press buy and i kept the settings as it came and then you would just click that green button by domain now because i am very like such a procrastinator i did I did leave where it says order summary, auto renew this domain every year. I did leave that checked because I will forget a year from now that it's time to pay it. So I just had it checked so that every year on its own, it'll just charge my card the $14 so I can be consistent with the chiclashesla.com. So once you purchase it, it'll take some time and then you do have to go back to your email to verify it. And then once you verify it, then that's when it'll all be good to go. So make sure you do that. Don't forget to skip, like don't skip that step.